So far this year, renewable energy has generated more power than coal globally. Please share this video with someone who needs to know. Coal use is declining. Regardless of anything the media says, renewables are now, for the first time in history, ahead of coal power. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. This is really an important, incredibly important news, incredibly important situation here because the world is pivoting. We are changing. We are dumping coal. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Solar and wind aren't just keeping up with global electricity demand anymore. They are actually ahead. And new analysis from Ember says that solar and wind combined outpaced global electricity demand growth in the first half of 2025. And this means that coal and gas generation have both fallen compared to the same time last year. For the first time ever, renewable energy has beaten coal globally. We're seeing the first signs of a crucial turning point, said Melgazada Weatris Motika, senior electricity analyst at Ember. Solar and wind are now growing fast enough to meet the world's growing appetite for electricity. This marks the beginning of a new shift where clean power is keeping pace with demand growth. Global electricity demand rose 2.6% in the first half of 2025. That was an additional 369 terawatt hours year over year. Solar met a stunning 83% of that increase growing by 306 terawatt hours or 31% year over year. Combined with wind, renewables were able to meet rising demand and start displacing fossil fuels. And you're going to find probably over the next 12 months, this acceleration will speed up because in places like the United States, Chile, Australia, Europe, even China, a lot of the renewable energy we generate is not being used. It's being dumped. It's being curtailed. It's a nice word to use, isn't it? But literally hundreds of billions of dollars worth of renewable energy is being wasted every year. Fortunately, though, the rise in more affordable energy storage, and I'm saying massively more affordable because new sodium ion batteries are coming, plus, of course, lithium ion phosphate battery prices continuing to fall, means we can store a lot more of that energy. And that amount of energy we can store is increasing every single month as the world goes on a battery build-out spree. Coal generation fell by 0.6% or minus 31 terawatt hours. Gas dropped 0.2% minus 6 terawatt hours and fossil fuel generation declined by 0.3% minus 27 terawatt hours. Global power sector emissions fell by 0.2% in spite of the fact that the Trump administration is doing its best to... Burn, baby, burn, I guess you could say. Renewable supplied 5,072 terawatt hours of electricity in the first half of 2025, up from 4,709 terawatt hours a year earlier. Coal, by comparison, generated 4,896 terawatt hours, down 31 terawatt hours year over year. This is the first time that renewable energy, of course, as I mentioned earlier, has overtaken coal. And this is a global turning point. Many analysts are saying that the speed that the planet moves towards renewables, the faster we do it, the more money we save. And the figures are in the trillions of dollars. Ember's analysis says that this is a pivot point. Solar and wind are now growing fast enough to meet new demand and begin cutting into fossil fuel generation. As deployment accelerates of solar, wind and batteries, Ember expects clean power to outstrip demand growth for longer stretches, pushing fossil fuels into permanent decline. And to be honest, I mean, even, even fossil fuel companies like China's biggest oil company has predicted the same thing. This is not just Ember. This is not just a think tank. This is the kind of situation we're seeing experts, even from oil companies, say is going to continue to happen. And not just happen, but increase. Renewables will continue to grow. Unfortunately, though, China, India, the US and Europe, um, well, 
Two of these areas, countries, saw fossil fuel generation actually fall. Two of them saw an increase. China is the global energy powerhouse, adding more solar and wind than the rest of the world combined. Its fossil fuel generation fell by 2%. I reported on this. That was minus 58.7 terawatt hours in the first half of 2025. I reported on this before, Ember did, because uh, the data was pretty clear that coal use in China began declining this year for the first time in history. In India, clean power growth outpaced demand threefold. Electricity demand rose just 1.3%, far below the 9% increase we saw in India last year. Fossil demand dropped sharply. Coal fell 3.1%, minus 22 terawatt hours. Gas fell 34%, or minus 7.1 terawatt hours. And that's not because the Indian government um, is afraid of global warming or wants to prevent it. It's because of the cost, the cost of solar is just so much lower than the alternatives. However, in the US and Europe, well, yeah, not so good. In the US, demand grew faster than renewables could keep up, leading to higher fossil fuel output. In Europe, weaker wind and hydro performance meant more gas and coal were needed to fill the gap. Although in some countries in Europe, solar is absolutely firing and places like Spain, there's been a complete, a complete turnaround in terms of the fossil fuel generation mix decreasing substantially. However, half of the world are already past the peak of fossil fuel generation. Ember says the trend is very clear. Clean power can keep up with rising electricity demand. To lock in progress, deployment of solar wind and batteries actually needs to accelerate. Solar and wind are no longer marginal technologies. They're driving the global power system forward, said Sonia Dunlop, CEO of the Global Solar Council. The fact that renewables have overtaken coal for the first time marks a historic shift. But to secure this, governments and industry must step up investment in clean energy and storage so affordable, reliable power reaches everyone around the planet. So clearly the pivot point is here. And I've mentioned this many times i'm sure you guys are sick of hearing this from me but coal gas fossil fuels as generation for electricity will continue to fall over the next 20 30 years it's going to become so expensive to run a coal power plant in comparison to the alternative think about the alternatives i mean even if the price of solar panels doesn't change let's say the price of solar stays the same which is not going to happen or get it'll continue to improve in price because the efficiency will continue to get better every year it does but let's just say that stops no no more progress ai provides no zero progress in solar panel costs well the price of batteries will continue free fall to free fall because sodium ion batteries are much cheaper than lithium ion phosphate around half the price for energy storage you're looking at probably 60 percent cheaper and they last much longer we're talking two to three times, maybe even in some instances, four or five times longer if you're comparing them to NMC batteries. So that means the price of batteries will continue falling. Plus the, the upfront cost of solar will be much cheaper than lithium ion phosphate batteries. Energy storage prices will drastically fall over the next decade. And that in com combination with solar will be far cheaper than any other source of energy in the world. Now I know people say, yeah, but not every solar doesn't work everywhere. And Sorry, but you're sort of mostly wrong because 90% of the world's population lives on the Sun Belt. 90%. 10% of the world, you can have your nuclear, you can have your wind and whatever else you guys want. But 90% of the world is going to be powered by solar and batteries. Thanks for watching. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you want to get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day. Don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount.